Hey, welcome back to World Class Tech. This is Chris De Bruin, your instructor. Today we're going to write our very first program in Python. I have Python uh, 2.7.2 installed on my computer. I have the Python shell open as well as um, I have a new programming window. It's a blank untitled window at this point. We're going to get started by writing in a comment. I like to always put comments at the beginning of my um, programs just to let people know um, what the program is all about. This is Hello World, my first Python program. Comments again, I'll start with the pound symbol and they don't have any effect on the program at all. They're there just to enlighten others about what is happening in the program. Okay, go down two lines and I'm going to start by defining a function. We always define functions with the word DEF, DEF, define. So we're defining a function, and we're going to call that function hello world. Okay. Function names, by the way, cannot have spaces in them. So as you see here, uh, hello world is all one word, and then we put a set of parentheses after the name of the function, and then we put a colon. It's not a semicolon, but a colon. Now when I press enter, as you can see here, I'm indented a bit um, in. Now the rest of the the rest of the function will be all indented underneath the header or heading of the function that includes the function name. And all the lines of the function have to be equally indented in order for the program to compile correctly. So on this uh, first line of the function, I'm going to write my first command of this function. And I'm simply going to tell the computer to print to the standard output device, which is the monitor, to print uh, a message. And that message is going to be uh, Hello there, world. Okay. Now we can see that I've uh, put double quotes around this entire message, hello there, world. And that has uh, told the computer that this uh, message here, these uh, string of characters, is just that. It's a string. It's viewed by the computer as a string. And um, in order to be a string, it has to be in double quotes, just like that. And uh, once I'm done with that, I hit enter down a couple lines and I'm ready to save my program. It's as simple as that. I simply go File, Save, and I'll move this up so you can see it. Uh, when I name my files, I'm just going to put this right on my uh, on my desktop, I think, and I'm going to call it Hello World, and you have to put a .py at the end of your file name in order for it to be saved as a Python file. Hit Save. I already have one named that, so it warned me I was going to replace it, which is fine. And there you go, my very first Python program, I've saved it. Now, what you do is come up here to the Run menu and choose Run Module. You can also press F5 to get this option. And when you do that, if you didn't notice, it jumped back to the other window, the Python Shell window, uh, which is an interactive uh, shell or prompt window. And I can see I have these three greater than symbols. That represents the prompt. It's waiting for me to type something in, and so what I'm going to type in is just the name of the function that I just created. Okay, this is spelled exactly the way I had spelt it here where I defined the function. And then I just hit enter, and what do you know, it runs my first program. The only line of code in that program was a print statement to print out, hello there world, and it did just that. Okay folks, that's the very first uh, Python tutorial and I'd like you to complete that and let me know how you did. Thanks a lot.